Charles Jr. here for another adventure. This time, behind me, go all the way around. Beautiful spot. I'm again in Southern Oregon. Yeah, I come down here a lot. This is the fourth year in a row, third year of me videoing it. Uh, I'm in an area that I was uh, given a hint to about some petrified wood. And the Mrs. Jaws Jr. and I, she's off over the hill. And I kind of walked around and surveying the area because I've never been up here before. And seeing what all we can find. And so I've just been walking around surveying, see if there's any surface finds. And rumor has it there's a spot where there's been some petrified wood dug out. Well, I have not found that spot. So I am just kind of surveying it, taking my time, walking around, seeing what I can see. Let me turn you guys around. How's this for a piece of petrified wood? And you're asking, oh, that ain't petrified? Huh, sure feels like it. Yep. So that's always a positive thing. Not too bad. That's a nice, that's a nice sized piece. I'm happy with that one find a few more that size and bigger and make the trip worthwhile up here. So what I'm going to do is as always I'm going to put you guys up and I'm going to wander around and as I find some more cool fascinating stuff that you crazy rockhounds would be interested in I'll show you. Okay I'm back. I found something that was interesting. And I just picked it, the top of that. This is what I'm up here for. Need to find more of it. But this is what I'm up here for. So I know there's stuff here. And then there's... That almost looks like a bamboo bone. Or a bone. Interesting. Leave, your, leave a comment in the blo below here. And then just... And let me know what you think this is. Wow. It's definitely petrified. Oh. Huh. No, not really. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I'm going to keep looking. There. I have to pay attention to you guys a little bit more. Those other videos may have been out of color a little bit. So hopefully this looks better. And it will look better when I reach down here and check out this piece right here. Oh, I was hoping it was opalized with that, but it's just a regular piece of wood. That's okay. It's still a keeper. That's a piece of opal. Just common opal. Nothing spectacular. So, lots of small pieces around here. You can see there's a couple there, there's a couple there, and there's one down there. See, I'm not sure if I even want to pull a shovel out because this is an area that cattle are running. And even if I fill the hole back in when I'm done, it'll leave a soft spot. So you got to be paying attention what's here in an area before you start digging a bunch of holes.
you know, there's going to be other places later in the week that there's been heavy equipment that's dug and there's not much, much point in trying to do anything other than just having fun in the spot. But that's, oh geez, that's a week from now. Yeah, I'm down here for a while. When we go do our rock hounding trips, we go after a wide variety of places and material. See, here's one here. That's just a little one. If I'm going to bend over and pick it up, I'll keep it. If I don't bend over and I'll walk over it and I'll let it stay. Because as I said before, I'm six foot four. If I'm bending over, I better make it worth my while and pick something up. See, there's nothing there. Okay. Lots of small pieces. They can stay. Yeah, more small pieces. More there. More there. That one's a little bit bigger. I'll pick that one up. So, here's a bigger piece right here. Touch a bit of opal in it right there. Yeah, I don't like that one. What's this here? Oh no, that's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Okay, here's what the Mrs. Jaws Jr. Vife has found so far. And we've only been up here for about a half hour. But yeah, I'm gonna go back down to the rig, get a bucket, grab some water, come back up here and do some more walking around. I might bring a shovel with me and do a couple of little test holes to see what I can see. small it's interesting but yeah okay well we are still out here digging and not digging but picking up surface finds and I found quite a few and doing pretty good just for walking around I think I found a spot I do want to dig at later on so we'll see it's awfully warm in the afternoon right now and our buddy Jim back over there has shown up so, yeah. More of the stuff that looks like fossil bone or something. Not sure what it is. Well, let me turn you guys around and you can see what I'm picking up. Okay, here I am looking around for stuff. Here's something. And that's a piece of opalized too I just picked up and just, just got that one. Sounds like Jim picked up a pretty big piece. So. Just continuously looking. Here's a piece here in the sunshine. Here's another piece here. That is not one. Now this is interesting. Oh, that's a nice piece. That's one of my biggest ones today. And then there's, that looks like it's surrounded petrified wood. That doesn't look like actual, actual wood. And there's a piece. There's a piece. Another one there. Another one there. Huh. I'm going to have to make a pile, or I'll go down and get my bucket. I'll get my bucket and bring my bucket back up here. I see some other stuff up here. 
so up by that little tree. So walk down here to my bucket. And looking, always looking, always looking, and remembering that spot. Nice size piece there. I was eyeing this one earlier. So here's one here, here's one here, here's one here. Here's one here. Okay, well, I'm going to let you go and pick up some more material. Well, found another sizable one. A couple others. But then there's this one right here. This one's cracked. That's fine. I'll still keep it. had the best luck in the areas that the cattle have came through and tore up the ground. So they've tore up the top layer of soil and over the years the rain has washed stuff off. Here's that, that one there, another one there, small ones. Bone. I saw this and I went, huh, nope, wait, oh my gosh, that is a solid piece of petrified wood, people. I thought it was regular wood. That is solid. Cool. That's what I'm looking for. I looked at that three different times thinking, no, that's just a regular piece of wood. Awesome. Hoo-hoo. <laughs> That is the find of the day. Wow. Ugh. Let's take this, set this out in the sunshine. It's heavy. It's got some weight to it. God, that looks like it's actual wood. Awesome. That's about a five pound piece of wood there. My bucket's way over there, so let me take this over to my bucket so I can lay claim to it before nobody, anybody else does. And you know, they're not here. Mrs. Josh Jr. went up to draw. Jim took off somewhere. So I had nobody to share my excitement with except for all of you. Wow! Now it tells you how big that is. That is cool. I'm happy. Okay, okay. I could go off. I could go on and on about that piece. That is the find of the day so far. Let's walk over back over here where I found it at. And I'm serious, I looked at that several different times, thinking, oh, it's just a piece of wood. 
then I thought I would just kick it and say, see, there's real, there, there's real wood for you. <sighs> what a find. Well, I'm going to let you go and see if I can find more. I'm excited. Woohoo! Okay, everybody, I'm kind of up on top of the ridge. Swapped up my bag, and I see something here. Nothing like this up here. So, that's a keeper. That's the only thing I found like this up here. I did find a piece of silver sheen obsidian that was chipped. So that tells me that it was an area that Native Americans were here not very often, but they were here. So, well, I wasn't expecting that to be petrified. Listen. Cool. See, when I bring you guys out, I find stuff. You are a lot of help. Hmm. Interesting. Three completely different pieces of material, right? Not too far from each other. Okay. Well, I'm still jonesing about that uh, big piece of petrified wood, though. Uh, that was awesome. Okay, I wandered around, up and down, all over. Been over to pick up a small one, and this is what I saw. I don't know how big it is, but that's an acceptable piece. Nothing like that big one, but you know... I'm happy with that one, too. Sweet! In the bag that goes. Anything else to pick up while I'm bent over? Uh, nothing spectacular. But, you know, I'm going to call that one Swan Song. Yeah, I was. Okay, there we go. Okay, day one of this rock counting expedition adventure is about completed. We got to go set up the RV, the Jaws Junior Mobile Command Center, and then gonna call it a night but yeah I found some pretty good ones I should see some other small ones I'm gonna pick up here on the way back down so you know I'm gonna let you guys go right here just remember everyone's life is an adventure then there's mine <laughs> picking up some pretty cool petrified wood let me tell you this is the adventures of Josh jr. have a good one everybody see ya <laughs>